From the editors of The Advocate and the worldwide resources of Here Networks, this is an Advocate.com special report, Marriage Equality in California. Hi, I'm Steve Kometko, and this is the first in a series of reports on Advocate.com called The Freedom to Marry. It's a right we'd earned once before, about a handful of years ago. But shortly after the first gays and lesbians said, I do, the politicians stepped in and said, oh, no, you don't. And the marriage certificates, cherished by the thousands who flocked to California, were turned into so much paper. Fast forward to this week in California, and once again, the freedom to marry will be legal. Here's Advocate.com's Michael Eldridge. It's been a long battle, but marriage equality has come to California, and we can finally let freedom reign. You can put the starting line all the way back to about 2000, when Proposition 22, the voters in California, voted to uh, define marriage between a man and a woman. In 2004, one man would take Prop 22 head on. Mayor Gavin Newsom, who had just been elected as mayor of San Francisco, decides to marry same-sex couples. You know, remember, we were just trying to put a human face on discrimination. We wanted to marry one couple, a couple of five decades, a half a century of love and constancy and commitment, uh, Phyllis Lyon, Del Martin, and we were going to use that as a test case to advance a constitutional argument against Prop 22. Lo and behold, we were able to go forward for almost a month, 4,036 couples. Our victory was short-lived. On August 12, 2004, the California Supreme Court invalidated all of the marriage licenses. As the Republicans in Washington sought to outlaw our marital rights nationwide, Democratic Party Chair Howard Dean said that our civil rights could be decided by the states. Now my view is the federal government has to say there will be equality under the law. I think it's okay once you say there will be equality under the law to tell the states, I don't care how you achieve this but you have to figure out that everybody has to be equal in the, under the law. It is wrong to discriminate. If we say leave it to the states, aren't we really saying let's not address this for decades? Well, I don't think you can leave it for decades. I, th I think as we discovered uh, during the civil rights movement, uh, you can't say to a group of people who are disenfranchised, uh, just give us a little more time, the politics isn't right yet. Some couples married in San Francisco wouldn't wait. They sued the state. On May 15, 2008, the California Supreme Court ruled four to three that denying same-sex couples the right to marry was unconstitutional. Marriage equality begins in earnest June 17th, but the fight in California won't end there. In November, uh, some of our political opponents have qualified a constitutional amendment uh, to try to reverse the Supreme Court decision. Uh, the good news is we're in a virtual tie today here in the state of California. What you're always going to hear from people who are against marriage equality is an excuse other than the one that they really are feeling. More often than not, it's an excuse that is just sort of a more palatable thing than I don't believe gay and lesbian Americans should have the same rights as everybody else. So even as we celebrate this week, we'll have to continue the fight for marriage equality in California and throughout the United States. This is a tipping point state. The way California goes, so goes the nation. One thing that's absolutely going to be necessary for me and for every other person in the community between now and November is we can't just sit back and rest on the laurels. We have to fight. What happens here will either move the entire country forward one huge step or set the entire country back. In California, this is Michael Eldridge for The Advocate and Here Networks. While couples are traveling the freedom to marry road to major metropolitan areas like Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Diego, that road does not pass through California's Kern County. That's because as county clerk, Ann Barnett has halted all civil weddings at her county offices. Since doing so, she's been called a religious terrorist and some want her to resign. Her office has been flooded by hate mail and she's had to unplug her home phone. Barnett says her offices will still make marriage licenses available to straight and same-sex couples. They just can't get married there. Barnett says she's not making a statement, but just trying to do the right thing. Even as we speak, wedding planners are planning their little fingers to the bone. It boggles the mind, and nowhere is it more boggled than here in West Hollywood, land of the free and home of the airwave. Can there possibly be enough style and substance to go around? Of course. And what about the boon to the local economy? Well, can you say ka-ching? Again, here's Advocate.com's Michael Eldridge. As marriage equality comes to California, Thousands of couples are ready for their dreams to come true. That means a lot of preparation, especially here in West Hollywood. Some couples were quick to create the ultimate wedding. 
Others are rushing, searching for the perfect flowers or food. Well, I think it's been really fun. It's an exciting time for, um, for us here in California, and love is in the air. And so then people were calling up and going, we don't know what we want. We just want something pretty. And then they were like going, who do we talk to? And it was just kind of a very interesting kind of this mass craziness. Tom Rosa of Cake and Art has seen his business triple. Part of what one study projects will be a $370 million boost to California's economy. At West Hollywood City Hall, everyone's focused on the big day. So we may get a crush, and we're, we're prepared for the crush. And so we are deputizing not only city council here, but senior management as well, and we'll be prepared for whatever numbers show up. We're expecting so many people, we're not even going to do the weddings at City Hall. We're going to do it at one of our parks. Some couples are ready and waiting for June 17th. When I found out, I gave him a big old kiss and asked him to marry me. And there are others who are hoping for a little miracle. I'm going to celebrate, yeah. Find somebody to marry. So if you know somebody, uh, send in your cards and letters because I'm looking. No matter what, as California gets ready to celebrate true marriage equality, joy is the emotion of the day. Every call we get, people are just overwhelmed. We're overwhelmed. Um, we couldn't be busier, but we also couldn't be happier doing it. In West Hollywood, this is Michael Eldridge for The Advocate and Here Networks. I'm Steve Kometko reporting from West Hollywood. Stay tuned to advocate.com or Pick up the current issue of The Advocate for more on California's freedom to marry. If you have wedding pictures you'd like to share with us, please, by all means, send them to us at marriageatadvocate.com. We'd love to see them. We'd love to post them. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words. See you next time.